Um, somebody said little house cat was talking greasy. Little house cat, as I said, um, your work. I can't talk to you. You get a paycheck from Adam. You don't own the platform that you're talking on. The platform you see me on, I own it. I heard you mention complex. I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm a little bit more mainstream, so I collaborate with a lot of people. Don't hate me for it, okay? However, this platform here, I own it. You're Adam's little house cat. Now, I don't want to address you too much because this is probably the biggest. I think I'm promoting you more than Adam has. He just has you on there as a stooge. Um, but I do want to bring light to something real quick. I do want to bring light to something really quick. Because you were very eager to say, yo, your bitch in my DM. Okay, great. Again, it's my ex. It's neither here nor there. Listen, I'm the first to say it. Shit, I think me, maybe, me and Adam, I hope we could say it in unison. Because, shit, I don't know if you knew about the six-man train before I said it. You can't trust these chicks. They ain't going to tell you everything. <laughs> you feel me? So just protect yourself. You don't know what they're going to be doing, okay? One minute, they might tell you they did this. Next minute, you find out it's a six-man fucking train, okay? We don't know. But let's get to it, okay? This is the only thing I want the little house cat to answer to. I don't want to hear nothing else what you talk about, right? It's my ex. You said she was in your DM like, yo, she was trying to let you fuck like, yeah, like you that nigga. Like, house, house cat, you're broke. <laughs> okay? <laughs> like, yo, ask for a raise before you start coming at niggas like me, bro. Anyway, she addressed your ass uh, until you address her. This ain't between me no more. Because I don't know you. You're a bum. Address her. Okay? Because you said she was in, in your DMs like she was on your dick. Okay? <laughs> No sweat off my, uh, 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 my balls. I don't give a fuck. I'm not wearing anymore. But this is what she said to you. She says, house phone. And by the way, this is her account. By the way, we got to maybe talk to Adam too. Because we're hearing some funny shit. She said, house phone, stop saying I was in your DMs like we were talking. Only reason I messaged you was because my fans, okay, fans, kept sending me screenshots of hateful ass tweets you would make about me every other day. You were making it seem like we were talking when in reality I was checking you, nigga. I made sure I gave off no flirtatious vibes. So your fucking clout chasing predator weirdo ass won't get confused. Why is she calling him a predator? Let's keep it going. Let's talk about how you made Jesse Taylor fuck you for an interview on No Jumper's platform. And Adam knew it and let you basically pay for sex with an interview. You're no different than Harvey Weinstein. I don't want to hear from a nigga who literally has to offer interviews to fuck. This is only uh, until uh, until we get little house cat. I need everybody to go hit him up and ask him. Ask Adam too. Adam, like you need to address this. Like, are y'all soliciting sexual favors from women in order to give out an interview? Now. I'm going to be honest. I was like, wait, they did an interview? Look at this shit. Nigga, you look like a creep. You look like a fucking creep in this shit, bro. You took advantage of this poor little girl, bro. For an interview, did 24000 She probably trying to reverse the fuck. Listen, man, Little House Cat or, or Jeffrey Housesteen, whatever you want to go by now, bro. I don't know you, but I just want to let you know from a big nigga to a little nigga. Forcing chicks to have sex with you for an interview? Bad, bad, my brother, bad. If this is true, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I said. I made these allegations. <laughs> but you said Shorty was on your DMs. She, she knew that girl. So, it's a bad look, bro. Bad look.
Jeffrey Halstein. This nigga is disgusting. This is the type of shit y'all doing over at No Jumper? Y'all fucking hoes for interviews? <laughs> disgusting. Mm. I can't argue with a nigga like this. Disgusting. Let me get this on my screen. It's a predator. I can't. I can't. Okay. See how quick I packed him up. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> See how quick I packed that nigga up, man. <laughs> Little boy, stay in your lane, man. Stay in lane. <laughs> Disgusting, man. Yo, Adam, you got a real problem with, like, putting a lot of creeps around you, bro. The stories are well documented. Tread lightly. Y'all are fucking for interviews. Like, I'm, I'm chilling. It's a lot of questionable shit going on over there. If I'm watching some of the shit I'm seeing, like, that used to be popping, popping Xanax with like a 16 year old little pump. I'm y'all doing questionable shit. I'm just saying, like. It's cool. And by the way, I've seen a lot of people misinterpret a lot of what I was saying in terms of because they, they were checking so they were the tone police. They don't realize I was giving Adam game. I gave Adam game mad times. Ask, ask that nigga in text when niggas start hating, them, hating on him on Twitter. Niggas been hating me on Twitter a long time. I told him, I said, bro, this is how it goes. Bro, you're going to get this. This is this is the steps. I told him. And he hit me and said, oh, you're right. But even when when y'all think we were arguing, or you throwing me, I was like wilding out. I was giving him game on certain shit. I was giving him game. Now you might say, what game? These are mistakes and shit that I've done incorrectly. Shit that, like, before I was kind of. Halfway in, halfway out of this industry, and I had to reach to niggas. Like, there is not a rapper that if I needed to say something to now, I couldn't. Or I need to ask a question to, I couldn't. So, I could act ignorant, but what has worn thin is the excuse of saying, Oh, I didn't know. I couldn't reach out. You know why? Most rappers look at me like, Yo, act. You in this shit. We either did an interview with you, like, or whatever, whatever, like, yo, you in this shit now. M remember what Uzi said recently, which, me and Uzi, we cool. Like, we've been joking around. Uzi said, yo, act, why you post everything? You made it already. I'm just trying to say, even with Adam, you're in this shit now. I'm telling you a mistake I made when I felt I was still far removed. And I guess this is where I get to like this other shit. The same way when Adam was on here and I mentioned certain things about allegations uh, that women have against him. And you could see in his face he was physically cring cringing and he didn't want to talk about it. And I didn't want to even press the issue. Remember when I said to him, where do, does journalistic integrity come in? Because one thing when you're just a nigga at home and you feel like... Yo, if I say if I say something or if I report something about little baby, even though it's gonna get mad views, I can't reach out to little baby. That's one thing. Especially damaging shit. It's another thing when you could and you don't and you ignore it just for views. What am I talking about? I learned that I was misusing my platform to just open it to people who were just slandering other people in the industry. Let me give you an example. It's very funny that someone faked a pregnancy by someone who you feel you don't know 
until you realize you're in this quote unquote industry too, and a chick faked the pregnancy by you. You start looking at it differently. And, and I told you both stories. I told you my story. You start looking at it differently. So, so when somebody comes with that, you're like, hold up, man. What I've learned is that is the power of allegations. So I see today Trey Songs firing off a couple tweets, yo, blah, blah, blah. And also I've seen like stuff like flirting with like, you know, almost indicting Tory Lanez on certain things. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, yo, you know, I know y'all hate when I bring up the race thing, but this is the exact thing. This is the exact thing when I'm saying when you're white or you're, you, you're running the TMZ, you could get away with. When you're black and they consider you part of the, this, this industry club, they'd be like, bro, why don't you, why you don't hit me for me to tell you what's up? Why are you just going with anything just for views? This is important. Partly the reason why when I talk about Tory and I talk about Meg, I have to be very careful if I just go all the way in either direction and say it's incorrect, the other person going to look at me like, yo, act, you could just hit me, bro. I would have told you what happened. Whether it's migratory. If I start bringing on random people, just be like, oh, yeah, this w-. Yo, bro, like, you're in this. Like, you, you got to stop with, like, you don't have the reach. You could hit the actual person and ask what happened because this is what some other person that may, may or may not be connected is saying. So again, I don't I don't know what could be true or what could be not. But there was a time I will say, and this is where I like the reason I said I was kicking game to Adam is because I was guilty of certain shit. When Offset told me, like, yo, nigga, yo, we gonna run into each other, bro. Like, this is what you're doing? And of course, like I'm used to rappers threatening me. That wasn't anything, but but, but, but like you have to see from the other side. He's he's like, damn, like, you know, we kind of, bro, we kind of like know know you and shit like that. Like, why are you just letting a one sided story just rock? Like, why are you, why are you just giving a platform and light to shit that's causing damage to people's careers, livelihoods, without any type of rebuttal or even like you just think it's cool. So I'm watching Tory. No, not Tori. I'm watching. I'm watching. Um. 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 What's the name? I'm watching Trey songs this morning, and I said, "Bingo." Put it like this: Trey songs is mad about some shit that happened on Adam's show. Trey songs will never say nothing to Adam. I guarantee you that came on my platform. Trey songs hits me immediately. Yo, act. What's up, bro? Like, yo, yo, what you want, dog? Like, you couldn't hit me about this. Bro, you just gonna like just you gonna just gonna have people accusing me of some crazy shit like this and not even hit me, bro? Yo, we not doing this, man. The point I was trying to make and I was trying to identify with that nigga with is that we not doing this on minor league shit no more, bro. Like we're not a blogger with like three thousand followers or like even a hundred thousand, like bro. Like everybody knows it's in the culture. You're in this culture, so you you have to either do some due diligence or you could be misusing it, misusing that platform. That's all I'm saying. I'm telling you, I can say I was wrong. Because there was a time that, and I remember people warning me. So I'm just passing along what people told me. You don't got to listen. Don't got to listen. But they told me the same. They said, yo, you know, none of us fuck with that, right? You know, none of us, this is the other platform. So, you know, you should. And and I said, I ain't going to lie. It's entertaining for my chat. Fuck it. I don't care. I don't care about the truth. I don't care. To, well, I don't care about the truth. I don't care to dig and find the truth out. It's just entertainment. It just sounds funny. So you realize it's affecting people's lives. Yo, I'm telling you right now, Trey Song's in. Trey Song's probably hired a PR team. Like he's, he's going through it today. Now I'm not saying he's innocent or guilty. That's not what, where, where where my conversation is about. But even with Tory, like you know, what I mean, when you extend platforms to people who are just throwing crazy amount of dirt on other people who. Whether you want to believe it or not, they're kind of your peers if you want to consider yourself in this industry. But but again, 
the great, the amazing thing about people who are white that have platforms, they could still be seen as outsiders, even though they're huge. Vlad is still seen as like an outsider. Vlad has one of the biggest platforms. You know why Vlad is white? Vlad can still ask the fed ass questions, and I love Vlad. And Vlad knows what he do. You know what I mean? He could ask that, and and yeah, he do get like some backlash, but like, like nobody gonna call him about it because there's a white dude, bro. So I look at that and I was like, yo, whether y'all want to know it or not, I was kicking some game at that point. And um, f for better or for worse, you know, I've seen, I seen certain individuals. I don't want, for, for any of the, the females involved, I want no smoke with y'all. I want no smoke with y'all because y'all lies and whatever has, has done a lot to people who have been in this shit. I'm cool. To Adam, if it's anything for views, do your thing, brother. I'm giving you the warning as I got the warning. Because in due time, you'll learn too. That's just how it goes. So, um, that that's what, um, that's pretty much all I really wanted to address. But Little House Cat, stop fucking little girls, bro. Stop fucking little girls for, like, interviews, bro. Let me not say little girls. Just stop fucking chicks for interviews or promising interviews for you to fuck. Like, mm. Okay? <laughs> uh, Quando, Rondo, and Lil Reese. 